I am so excited that I get to come back into your homes yet another day to encourage you toward your journey to greatness because that's exactly where you all are headed. You are headed toward your destiny, toward your purpose. The entire trajectory of your life is getting ready to change for the greater people of God. Are you ready? If you're not ready, you need to get ready. You need to stay on goal because God is getting ready to rock your world. God is getting ready to blow your mind, people of God. Thank you all for what you do on a daily basis to help bring glory to God's channel right here. I love y'all. God bless you. Now to those of you who are tuned into the channel, but you're not a permanent part of the family, not just yet. We want you to hit the red button to become a permanent part of our family here. And don't forget, go ahead and tap the notification bell so that you can receive the notifications family when we upload new and future videos. God bless you. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord prosper you. And may God keep you in every area of your life. Guess what? Because that's exactly what the Father is going to do. God is going to empower you to prosper, people of God. Out of your belly is going to flow rivers of living water. The gifts that God gave you on the inside of you, yes, those gifts that people are putting into question. Yes, those talents and those abilities. Yes, those inspirations that God has given you that people are putting into question. Those are the things that are going to make room for you. Glory to God. God bless you. Listen, family of God, I want you to always stay encouraged always stay encouraged. I know that there are so many things that surround you probably on a daily basis that would help you to stay discouraged, but you got to know who you serve so you can stay encouraged and you encourage yourself in the Lord. And you look back over your life where God has brought you from, because if he delivered you one time, glory to God, he's going to deliver you again. And I came to make an announcement to you today. Glory to God. I pray the word will hit your womb and bring life. Glory to God where the enemy is trying to choke the life out of you. I pray in the name of the Lord that this word of inspiration, this word, glory to God, of revelation, this word of inspiration, this word of encouragement, this word of motivation toward your journey, my God, it will hit your womb and it will, and it will birth. Glory to God, your faith, family of God. I love y'all. Listen, family of God. There is absolutely nothing that the enemy will be able to do to be successful over you. Absolutely nothing. There is absolutely nothing that the enemy will be able to do now, later, or in the future that will be successful over you as a child of God. You are undefeated. He will not be able to destroy your family of God. It doesn't matter the landmines, glory to God, that people sit. It doesn't matter the booby traps that people sit. You will not fall in it, family of God. Whoever is digging a ditch for you, glory to God. They may as well fall in it, people of God, because they have dug that ditch for themselves. Whatever noose that they have to hang on your neck, glory be to God. They better get ready to wrap it around their own neck, family of God, because nothing evil will hit your place. Nothing evil will hit your household. Nothing evil will befall your dwelling place. Why do I say it? Because God will uphold his word, people of God. God has the final say in your life. Glory to God. I want you to know this family of God, that the enemy is going to come back fishing in your life. You listen to this today. The enemy is going to come back fishing in your life, family of God. He's going to test your temperature like you a thermometer. The devil is a liar. You know why he's getting ready to do it? Because he wants to come back to finish obliterating your whole life. He wants to see, family of God. Are you still weak in the areas that you used to be weak in? He's coming to test your temperature. He's coming back into your life, people of God. Fishing for information to see how he can finish what he has started. But the devil is a liar because the word of God has been spoken over your life. The word of God that has been spoken of your life is upholding you. The prayers of the righteous that have been prayed over you is upholding you, people of God. Yes, the 
effectual fervent prayer of the righteous, glory to God, availeth much. Your grandmother's prayers is upholding you. Your mother's prayers, your father's prayers, your sister, your brother. Oh, glory to God, your sisters and your brother in Christ Jesus. Those prayers of the righteous is upholding you, family of God. You will not be destroyed by the enemy. Glory to God. The enemy will come before you one way. Yes, and he's going to flee before you. Glory to God. He's not going to be able to take any steps toward destroying your people of God. He will not be able to be successful in whatever he is plotting to do, people of God. The prayers of your righteous people in your generation in your lineage, in your bloodline, they have saved you. It doesn't matter if they are going on to be with the Lord. Those prayers have covered your people of God. Why do you think you haven't lost your mind? Why do you think that the, the gunshot didn't kill you? The car wreck couldn't kill you? Glory to God. The sickness couldn't destroy your body. That disease could not destroy your body. Glory to God, because of the prayers of the righteous has availed as much people of God. God uphold his word, people of God. God is looking over the spoken word that you have spoken over your life. He's not going to just look over it. He's going to perfect it. He's going to perform it, and he's going to complete it. The word of God is going to come to pass in your life, and there's no devil in hell that'll be able to stop it, people of God. You got to be wise, people of God. You got to know your enemy. Don't call a friend, my God, a friend, unless you know it's a friend, some people don't even know their friends from their enemies. They're calling their enemies friends. And the friends, enemies, people of God. You got to be careful in this day and hour who you allow close to you. Family of God, everybody is not for you. Glory to God. The devil tempted Jesus, didn't he? Glory to God. When the Holy Spirit led Jesus in the wilderness on a fast, he's the son of God. And he was tempted three times by the enemy. And every time Jesus said, it is written, it is written, it is written. You're going to have to know the word of God to be able to defeat him, family of God. He's already a defeated foe. But if you don't know it, you're going to fight him and wrestle and tussles, tussle in areas that God has already gave you liberation. You're already free. Whom the son has set free is free Indeed, family of God, the battle is the enemy inside of you and I. The battle that we fight is in the mind. The devil is asking you just like he did Eve in the beginning of Genesis. Did God really say? He is challenging the word of God that you know, family of God. Did God really say? Eve knew what God said. You know what God said. So don't allow the enemy into your ear so that you can question your God. God has done nothing to us, family of God, for us to bring into question his word, his faithfulness, his character toward us. God is faithful. And God is going to perfect, he's going to perform, and God is going to complete everything that he has spoken over your life. The word of God is being upholded in your life. God is going to uphold the word of God over your life. When the word of God is spoken, it's gone. Glory to God. That's why you got to be careful how you talk, family of God. You have to be careful of the words that is coming out of your mouth. Do you know you... Frame your world, you create your life, you create your own circumstances by what you say. We perish because we don't know. We perish for what we don't know. How does the enemy over challenges a child of God? How does he defeat some people who are children of God because of what you don't know? If you know it, he can't defeat you. If you are unknowledgeable in an area, that's where the enemy can defeat you, people of God. Close your ear gate off to the enemy. Don't listen. You trust God and you believe God. You got to know without a shadow of a doubt that there is absolutely nothing that the enemy can do, will do, or ever try to attempt on your life that will destroy your life. You are undefeated. You are an overcomer. 
family of God. You win in every situation and your enemies are going to take a big old fat L every single time. You win and they lose every single time, people of God. The enemy is not going to have the advantage over you, family of God. So let the enemy do whatever he wants to do. The enemies of your life are wasting their time. So let your enemy go broke, casting a spell against you. Glory to God. You're going to be more beautiful. You're going to be more healthier. And you're going to be more successful. You're going to be more productive than you ever have been in your whole life. Because you are a child of the Most High God. And you are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. The enemy is coming back in, fishing to see can he finish what he started in your life? He didn't get a chance to destroy you the last time. So he's coming in fishing. He's coming in to check your thermometer. He's coming in, family of God, to test your temperature, to see if you are weak in the areas that you used to be in. He's coming in to challenge the word of God that you say you know, family of God. He's coming. Are you ready when he comes? You got to know the word of God. You got to know God for yourself family of God, the prayers that people have prayed over you. My God, your grandmother's prayers have saved your life. Your mother, your father, your sister, your brothers, your sisters in Christ Jesus, your brothers in Christ Jesus have saved your life, people of God. You have been spared, people of God. You have been protected from seen and unforeseen danger. The enemy will never Glory to God. Be successful over you as a child of God. It doesn't matter what they form. It doesn't matter. It's not going to prosper them. It will never prosper against you, child of the Most High God. God has spoken. God has spoken a word over your life. And there is nothing that the enemy can do for, to change God's mind concerning you. There is nothing that the enemy can do to stop the plans of God from happening in your life rest at night. God never sleeps. He never slumbers. So why are you worried, people of God? Why are you walking your hall in worry and fear and doubt? I speak rest over your life. I speak peace over your life. I speak healing over your body. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will no longer have dull hearing. I pray in the name of Jesus when God speaks, glory to God, your spiritual ears will be in sync. Your spiritual ears will be synchronized, people of God, to the word and the voice of the Almighty God. The enemy will never be successful in destroying you. It doesn't matter what challenge that you face. It doesn't matter. You're already free. Whoever God has set free is free indeed, family of God. God will uphold his word over your life every single time. Go to bed at night. Rest. Give that situation to God. Sometimes we give God a situation and then we'll take it back. Trust him. God is asking you to trust him. You know why? Because you can. You can trust God. You can trust him. Think about the medications that you take if you take it. You trust those doctors to write that prescription and you take it. You get in your car and you trust that car. It's going to take you from the, your destination to your final destination, wherever you're going. When you get in an airplane, you trust that pilot to take you. That's man. Oh, God, you serve a God that has never given you a reason to doubt him, to distrust him, family of God. Trust in God. Trust in things that are eternal, not temporal things, not temporary things. The weapon may form against you, but it'll never be able to prosper. The enemy will never be able to be successful over you. You've learned your lessons, family of God, so apply the wisdom that you already know. You know the devil. You know his tactics. You know his schemes. You know his plots. You know him. Glory to God. And you remember this. We can never cast out a devil that we're sleeping with, people of God. You can never cast out a devil that you're in relationship with. Break covenant. Break ties. If you are hooked up and connected to people who are bringing destruction and damnation to your life and to your purpose. You want to know if that's the enemy in your life or the devil? The enemy or a godly person in your life? What's going on around you, people of God? 
that's how you know. But when you belong to God, you're protected. You are divinely protected, people of God. It doesn't matter what comes. The flood won't destroy you. The sickness won't kill you. You're not going to lose your mind. Glory to God. Be anxious for absolutely nothing. But in everything that you do through prayer and supplications, let every request that you have be made known unto God. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. No matter what situation that you find yourself in, family of God, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Remember, if we don't suffer with God, we will not be able to reign with him in his eternal kingdom. Suffering, trials, and tribulation, it teaches us obedience. Jesus the Christ, he suffered. That's the son of God. He suffered, but he learned obedience through his suffering. God is teaching you obedience through everything that you're going through. He's teaching you that you can trust him. And sometimes God will show us what we put our trust in or that we can't trust that family of God. The enemy will not be successful in whatever they're doing in your life. You know why? Because God has spoken. God has spoken. And God will uphold his word over your life. I love y'all so much. God bless you. Thank you for everything that you do to bring glory to God's channel every day on a daily basis right here, family of God. Don't ever get scammed on this channel, people of God, with people using my icon, my picture icon pretending to be me. If you all don't mind, you have my blessing and my permission to delete these replies. Don't engage in this family of God. You have a God to obey and you have a God to glorify people of God. You're going to make it. You're going to get there, people of God. You're going to come out of this. I know the enemy is telling you you won't come out. He's a liar. That's how you know you're already out, people of God. He said you'll never get healed. The devil is a liar. You claim you're healing, people of God. I love y'all. God bless you. We'll talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, you are a winner.